finally today, Kate on the counter here to talk about Elf on the Shelf. And our audience begins to immediately diverge. I'm not gonna keep you in suspense here. I don't like it. Shots fired. Why not lob a whole candelabra into the dynamite shed today? Eh, what do I care? I'm gonna get more into this, but first I wanted to mention that I went online today and I asked you what your elves on the shelves are up to. And of course you came through as you always do. Here's a sampling. So this was inspired by a colleague who said that his elf had come to report for duty in his house this week. But this is 2020, and he reported, as many of you did as well, that this year, a lot of the elves are quarantined. And it is about time. What are the positive outcomes of 2020? This is a subject that I've taken up before. As a matter of fact, almost to the day, December 5th, 2012, I wrote a blog post. Because I had a blog. And I quote, bottom line, rather than keep tabs himself on who, in his opinion, is naughty and who is nice, apparently Santa has outsourced his spying to this little felted rat. I stand by that. There's more. At best, he's a freeloader, drinking your milk, eating your cookies, using your toilet, bathing in the mini marshmallows you were going to put in your cocoa. At worst, he's a voyeur and vandal, leaving his elfin garbage all over your house, harassing your Barbie dolls, and making paper snowflakes no one even asked for. It all seems very festive and fun at first, all sugar plums and snowflakes, but there's a smugness behind that grin. He is always watching, and he won't even look you in the eye. I don't like it. This was eight years ago. I still don't like it. You ask me, you give these guys an inch of tinsel and they'll drag down the whole tree. Now, before you go calling me a Grinch, I want you to know that I am a big fan of Christmas and Christmas traditions. I don't even really have a problem with elves or trolls. This is not a lack of Christmas spirit. This is some real two on your side business. I'm looking out for you guys. And you have given me all of the evidence I need to know that I have a right to be concerned. Jessica shared this. My three-year-old was deeply concerned that it was real poop. Even a three-year-old knows that these guys are out of control. Val posted this on Facebook. Roasting marshmallows on the mantle? That's a fire hazard. And this last one, I'm not even sure it's suitable for sensitive viewers. Look at this. She has an actual infestation. Get out of the house. As I see it, this is Santa's way of working out some particularly challenging personnel issues. When you think about it, elves are known for what? Toy making, right? That's their special skill. So now, here we are, it's crunch time, and instead of being at the North Pole, where are they? They're at your house, sitting in a bowl of cereal, like some kind of sick freak. Anywho, tis the season. Uh, thanks for sharing your pictures. Have a great weekend. Don't send me hate mail, and I'll see you next time.